across the board with Ian the Colonel here on hawkradio.org and across the board radio.com. We've done well over 100 interviews now in the past a little over two years. And one of my favorites, Colonel, I know you agree with this, mm-hmm. has got to be Johnny Polygon. And if there is ever a man who, besides oh. us who deserves, deserves his own radio show, it is this man right now. Right. Polly, welcome back to the show, brother. How, how you been? Thank you. I'm here to replace you. I'm here to... <laughs> Fair enough. You know, it's, I'm uh... back at work. <laughs> I'm telling you now, if we have to compete with you, Johnny, we're done. We're, we're done. We're yeah, screwed. it's a wrap. Yeah. We can be roadies or water boys or something, I'll tell you. Uh, no, give me too much credit. <laughs> no, man. It's, uh, you know, like I said, just we were talking off air, and just, you know, your Facebook posts alone are hilarious. And, you know, I, I love. The thing with you is you're honest. You really, truly don't care what other people think. You just, I mean, you, you play the music you want to play. You write what you want to write. Say what you want to say. And you're cool with if people like it or not. Yeah, I'm surprised that uh, everyone's not like that, you know? Yeah. Some people are afraid to be themselves. Yeah, or they're afraid not to make money and, and right. that kind of stuff, you know? It's, you know, what are you going to oh, do? Oh, well, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, when you put it like that, right? You know? Also, the uh, Johnny Polygon's got to be the best rapper ever out of Oklahoma, I would say. Maybe, uh, yeah. You know, I would just go ahead and, and say America, you know. Let's we go can do, that do that, too. That. Might as well. The, the globe. Yeah, I'm just going to lump in just America and the history of rap. <laughs> you know, and very few people are worthy of being on the show twice. Mm. And that, that's the one yeah. thing. we You know, if, if we've had you on the show and we want you back, that that's something. Because... You know, and by popular demand, too. I mean, our fans yeah. love that interview, and uh, it's still up on the website. Everybody's into it. But everyone, um, wants, to hear, everyone wants to hear from the girl whisperer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Damn that's straight. That's, that's with me. Yeah, man. Uh, but let's talk about, you've got a lot going on, man. New deal, new album, the whole nine. So, you know, it's, it's a debut album is, is what it's being called, but it's really, I guess, major label debut. So let's uh, drop some knowledge here. Yeah, you know, I'm, I call it my debut album because it's the first thing that I'm going to sell, okay. you know? I usually Fair just enough. give give away all my music uh, for free. And I, you know, recently discovered that it's kind of hard to uh, support yourself when you do that, <laughs> you know? It's like, there's not a lot of money in giving away your music for free. Right. You know? But, you know, so I, I'm... Uh, you know, I make a few mixtapes, a uh, few videos for free. You guys have it mm-hmm. here. Buy, buy this one, you know. Or not. Steal it. You can do that, too. <laughs> but just, like, memorize the words and show up to the shows ready to rate. There you go. <laughs> and the thing is, honestly, you know, when you give away your when you give away your stuff to get started, the one thing it's about is getting exposure and respect. Now I believe you definitely have that. Now it's time. Now it's time to make that money. Yeah, you know, I'm, I, I, it's not even like really about the, the money. Really, it's just more about I just want to reach more people. You know, yeah, like there's... I want more people to hear this project than or the last one. You know, and then you know the money and the and the fame. That's more of like a a side effect from people caring. You know? it, it should be, yeah. That's the way it should be for sure. And see, that's the thing with a lot of your songs. And the Colonel and I are actually kind of uh, polar opposites here, where he's big on uh, "Handle Your Wasted" and those types of songs. Where I'm bigger on my favorites off the older albums are "Get Right" and "That's You." Love those. Oh, but wow. and you, but you talk about you literally talk about whatever's on your mind. And you don't care, like you know. And, and that's you. You're talking about you know. I'm not going to pay you know, $500 for jeans and all that kind of stuff. You know, I'm just trying to stay warm. It just, it's just funny yeah. stuff, though, man, and, you, and you're honest. But it's enough. true. It is, yeah, and yeah. I love it. That's, I, I think that's what I connect to about it. You know, if I'm listening to somebody else that's talking about, oh, I'm driving three, you know, Rolls Royces, and I'm like, I'm right. not. You know, I'm not pushing that. Come on. How can I relate right. to that whatsoever? So, but, not to say that I wouldn't wear some $500 <laughs> jeans. Right. There's somewhere to give them to me. Right. You know. But out of or your own I, pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if I, if I, I beat them off of someone. <laughs> did you, whoa, excuse whoa, whoa, me? Did you? Say, yeah, wait. <laughs> hmm. Hold on now. Uh, whoa, whoa, but, I didn't come out right. <laughs> again. Uh, or did it? Huh? Yeah. Whoa. Hey, you know, things happen in college. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I thought there's. I thought what happens in college stays at college. Yeah, no, that's just that's just Vegas, man. That's just Jay J. Polly shows. So let's talk about the the new album. And 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 since uh, you know we're pretty much clean radio, I'm not sure if we're gonna how much we're gonna be able to say about it. But uh, the new album, yeah. if it gets edited, it gets edited. The new album is called <laughs> Gun, and I've yeah. heard uh, you describe it as simply life and death. That it represents those two things. Is that really how it came about, or you know, you were just um, you know, that's like that's a that's an extremely artistic way of looking at it. I, right. I think that it's like you know, life and death, yin yang, the giver, the taker, the the gun. You know, <laughs> right? No doubt. And uh, and you know, just basically, this album, it's a little. Uh, it's a little darker than my previous stuff. How so? Uh, just, I think, subject matter-wise, okay. uh, uh, sound-wise, it's it's different because it's like I went into the studio with these guys named the Argonauts, and we built this album from nothing, from okay. scratch, you know? Which, I don't know uh, uh, um, if most people know that that's really not how a lot of hip-hop is made these days right you know what i mean it's like i wouldn't even really call gun a, a hip-hop album it's just like there's rapping on it too mm -hmm. if that makes if that makes any sense it does you know? well, yeah it, so, it does because so i'm a like, fan of yours yeah so like i've been you know i've been pretty quiet as far as like the public eye goes just because i've been locked in this apartment making this album you know mm -hmm. and uh yeah man i i, I can't I can't wait to hear it. I think I've definitely like honed in a sound, and uh, I'm a like I'm just more comfortable with myself as a rapper, as a singer, as a songwriter, as you know, just producing stuff. As a you know, like we got horns and and strings okay. and like orchestral stuff on this. You, you know? know, way out on this one. I like it. Yeah. So this is like a real like music. I was like, this is my album. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. like everything, every little piece of me that like people have latched onto over the years. You know, like my my solid uh, fan base. It's like all those pieces like have blown up and created a monster. <laughs> See, now I'm getting really, really stoked about the album. I, we got to get this thing immediately. Right. <laughs> no, would would you venture to say that Gum would be a deeper album for you? Oh yeah, definitely for sure. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard. Uh, I, I actually performed a, a song off of Gun uh, about eight months ago um, called "Limo Sex Superstar." Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's on that's on YouTube, yep. and that is that is a really good example of what the album sounds like. Okay, that, yeah, because I dig that one. Man, I'm so, looking forward to this. Yeah. I'm really, I'm really excited for people to hear it. And you know, this time around, it's just I've taken a lot, even more of a heavy hand in the, just the creation and the press, even just the presentation of things. You know, it's like I'm editing a lot of my own videos. You know, I'm about to direct some videos. Yeah, I, I want to direct some videos for other artists and stuff. You know. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. How did the directorial debut? How did that come up? And you know, what gave you the confidence to say, "Yeah, I can definitely do this." It's, you know, just because I've worked so heavily on every one of my videos, you know, it's like I don't have any videos where someone came to me with an idea and shot that I I, I showed up to the set, shot that idea, and then I got the video back. Right. You know, it's like always been, you know, coming up with these ideas, shooting them, being looking over the shoulder while it's in post production, you know. And, like, everything has worked, like, in-house, just me and my manager just going at it, you know? So yeah. it's, like, directing was just a really natural, it's a it's a natural next step that I'm really looking forward to. And, you know, videos like the Riot song, I mean, that had to have taken months to put together. It was so intricate with almost, you know, still shots and that kind of thing. So I can appreciate yeah. your, what you're going through there. With the the album, are there any guest appearances that we can look forward to? You said the Argonauts, but you know you had Amanda Diva, uh, you know on the on, uh, you know, tracks before. Anybody on this yeah, album? Yeah, no, not okay. a single, <laughs> not a single one, man. No, like but, I went, like I'm so 
in my zone right now mm-hmm. and, and just have been so – I haven't – like the energy it takes to incorporate other artists into it, you okay. know? Yeah. It, it's just like something I'm not interested in like right now. Like, you know, if you follow me on Twitter or on Facebook and stuff, you know, I've repeatedly said over, you know, the past year and a half that I'm on some like features right now. Oh, sexual relations features. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Did I'm just, into those. Did but, you just um, giggle? Yeah, I'm just in my own zone right now, man. So I just, I wasn't trying to go the feature route. It's like the same producers, for, like, produce the entire album, you know. It's like people send me in beats, and I know other producers, and, you know, a lot of people with, like, big names or, like, you know, famous rappers or other artists. And it's just like, gun is just it's not about that, you know. And, and by the way, uh, I can answer your question, uh, Jay Polly. It, it's swag, by the way, for what you uh, – you you posted something on post. Facebook, yeah, just now, and uh, I can answer it as that's crazy swag. By the way, I'm like, yeah, yeah, well done, my man. God, I want you said the jet set life's gonna kill you. I want to be Johnny Polygon when I grow up for sure. <laughs> the best uh, life. Oh ever. wow. Oh God. Where, where do we go with this interview from here? I, I don't know. The, the worst part is no one's going to get this really because of the timing. Yeah, because in, sec- in, a, in a second, though, he'll be like, hey, don't, talk to, don't talk to me for a second. Hold on. Nobody touch me. <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Anyway. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Anyway, but back to the whole thing with not having guests. I respect that. Because one of the things I think that I think is killing modern hip-hop mm-hmm. is – Everyone's got Besides guns. six guests on each track, different different guests for each track. And I feel like no one's really putting together their own stuff anymore. And if, if you're doing that, if you're putting an album out without any guests, I give you a lot more respect and a, a lot more props for that because that's that's harder Thank to you. do. And I would also say that this is probably the only hip-hop album out in the past five years without uh, Nicki Minaj, Drake, or Lil Wayne on it. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you, yeah. you know, yeah. props for that. I think it wasn't Lil... It's a statement I wanted to make that, you know, music isn't about business. Like, it's a, this is the music business, you know? Mm-hmm. But, like, making the music shouldn't be about the business aspect of it, you know? And, like, I look at a lot of other artists, and I look at the back on their track list, and it looks like now that's what I call music or something, you know? Right, yeah. It's like featuring this guy and his cousin and this thing <laughs> that you should listen to and blah, blah, blah. And then, like, their first single it always has, like, a, a very strong feature on it, and then their next five do. And then they got, like, one song on the album that's just them themselves, yeah. you know? And, like, yeah. But whatever. How- how do you maintain that? I mean, so many people fall to the, you know, I got to make money. I'm going to make as much money as possible. I'm going to sell out for back, lack of a better term. How do you right. stay immune to that, man? I mean, just the way you were raised or you just, I mean, how well, do you stay? You just truly don't care. But how is it like that? It helps when you don't have any friends. I'll okay. That. That'll do it. <laughs> no, but, uh, wow. I just think that I was fortunate enough to uh, work with, really established artists like earlier in my career and I got this weird feeling when I would be with them that it's like they're just inviting me into their world of success and it has nothing to do with me you know Mm -hmm. and I'm just like I'm just like a visitor and you know it was it was weird because it would it would it used to get me down but then I started thinking of it differently and it's like I was invited to my future. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And and so I think that meeting these people and working alongside them, it's like the one thing that they all have in common is uh, eventually in their careers, there was a point where they were just like, I don't care what anyone says. I'm just going to do it because I love it. You right, know? right. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But no matter what happens, the responsibility, like, falls on me, you know? Like, 
I think it would be weird if I would have blown up, you know, two or three years ago. Mm-hmm. But I was, but I blew up off of a favor from somebody else. Right. And I had to, I had to share that with them, like the ownership of it with them. Yeah. You know? And you'd have to suck up for so long to try to get, you know, stay, stay on with them. Yeah. Well, sorry. Yeah. Good yeah. Point. <laughs> and that's just like, that's just not something I was interested in. So when I started making this album, I was like, yo, no one is on this album except for me. I'm going to feature myself a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. I know the Colonel does as well. Yeah, I, I seriously have a lot of respect for that. I, I think it's great, and I wish more people would go back to doing their own albums, to be honest with you. Yeah, absolutely. And and I truly, I mean, we really are fans, man. We I, I listen to your, you know, your stuff all of the time, and it, I mean, it makes me laugh, and it's just... It's just good music, period. I mean, the beats are great, everything. It's not just the same old BS over and over again, which I love. Colonel, go ahead. Johnny, another thing, too, is you have so much respect for your fans, and you know, I know a lot of people claim they have great respect for their fans but i've seen it with you you have so much respect to your fans the conversations on on twitter and facebook but another thing you do too that i like is you've i've seen you repost a couple of fans covering your songs Mm -hmm. and i think that's that's huge yeah this is the biggest compliment of all time as far as i'm concerned it's like someone has taken the time to learn my song to learn how to play it to learn the words to learn the melodies and record it and put it on YouTube for, like, other people to see. That is just, like, that's crazy to me. And it also helps me hear my song not by me. Right. You know? That's a good And point. it's like, I'm like, oh, wow, that is a, that's kind of a good song right there. <laughs> yeah, it must be flattering, I guess, to, to have somebody take time out of their life, you know, when, when life is so Absolutely. short. To, you know, like you said, kind of not obsess about, but, you know, be abs- absorbed in your song, and that must be incredible for sure. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, like right now in my career, it's like I'm at a really wonderful, like, spot that I don't think I'm going to be able to stay in for very long to where, like, the fans that I have now, like, they they have this really proud, like, ownership that is like, yeah, this is our guy. We found him. You don't like him? You're stupid. Right. You know? And... But at the same time, I can still, like, go down the street and not get, like, harassed by, like, some paparazzi. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, your life is still your own. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, like, my life is still my own. I still have, like, my, my privacy and all that stuff. And so, like, right now I'm just at a really good spot where I'm just really appreciative of everything. And, uh yeah, I'm like at magic hour right now. Good for you, man. You deserve it for sure. I would truly mean that from the bottom of my heart. Is the next album, I mean, I know you're you're just on this album right now and you're thinking about this, but, I mean, thinking ahead at all right now, I mean, is the next album going to be as dark and as deep or, you know, as, as gun or, you know, any thoughts on that yet? You know, I don't even, I, I can't even tell you, man. Like, I know in the future I'm really, really getting into filmmaking right now. Great. Good. And... And just like just the process of doing that, so yeah, I know that I want to shoot some videos for other artists. I know that I want to do uh, like a short film, maybe you know, even do some acting or something like that. Um, you know, I just like the future is creative, man. You know, I would like to see that you acting. I mean, that that would be pretty pretty dope. I, I, like some indie stuff where you could do whatever you want to do would be great. Can't wait for. I mean, I would movie. love to, like, write, produce, shoot, direct, and star. So. <laughs> Let us know, man. We'll definitely uh, promote the hell out of that, too. I'd love to, love to see it. So, Well, Johnny, uh, we appreciate it, man. As always, gun. go out and get that album. And uh, that feeling you have right now, that, that great feeling, down, yeah. you know, <laughs> surging through your body right now, that's the yeah. interview. I'm just saying. That's, that's us. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, Polly, we appreciate it, man, and uh, we'll be back. Uh, I'm E. He's the Colonel. Go out and check out the gun right now. Be back in a few minutes here on Across the Board with E and the Colonel on hawkradio.org. And acrossthebordradio.com.